started to realize was as I start, as that happened, even if we took that at a low bait level right. it was coming in, as that started to happen, whatever power, whatever experience in power or uh, performance I, I, I realized, by repeating that, I experienced the same, let's say, an aggressive feeling. And it was, the aggressive feeling pr produced uh, a violent response. And the violent response Plus produces the, aggressive, it's, it's a aggressive. feedback system, that's what, that's what we were talking about the other day. That's what I'm talking about, smiling and the yeah. endorphin system and really being happy and smiling. <laughs> yeah. And it's, you, can, you can trick the brain, in other words. You can yeah. trick it in, into doing that. Many, many different ways in training physically or mentally, you can trick the brain. It was at a time in Malay when, when I saw a belt on the, on the, on the ground. Now, if I saw the belt in Birmingham, I would have thought it was a belt. And because <laughs> I saw the belt in Malay and I was an eight-year-old kid, I fucking hit the rafters. I was like a bloody monkey up there. So my mother comes in because, and they're on. Because, because you thought... <laughs> it was a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea is, if you can, if you can convince the brain, provided you've had the experience, or you, you understand the implication of that experience, you can trick the brain. And that's the, train, that's the training environment. That's what you have to do. You have to somehow program the training. So you trick the brain into experiencing this via yeah. either carrying out procedures just like a firefighter within a hostile environment, you know, setting procedures in conditional fighting, which the person, a mission he has to accomplish or prevent as if it's the partner, or in high intensity, and all of the work is high intensity because that's the condition under which it's hostile in a sense to the, to the, to the physiology of your system. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you, were, <laughs> you were saying to me the other day, and I don't know if we got this on film, but you were saying that the actual process of working at the anaerobic level will put you into emergency mode yeah. and will also help the mindset yeah, because and, and you have to kind of dig deep. High repetition like that, very, very high intense repetition using total body movement will actually increase testosterone. So the idea is that this, this if, if, you, if, if, I, if, if I, I create drills, even if it's a punch out drill on a bag, and I do it, maybe put the other gun on the other side, and you have a challenge if you. Oh, yeah. That kind of thing. It can raise ag ag aggression levels and it can raise all this competitive, it can, you know, all, all the things. So naturally, the guys who are in a, in a training session come out, they're really, really well, fucking high. After the last one, we got an email about three or four days later yeah. and, and the guy was saying, I'm still buzzing from it. You know, so, I put yeah. him in the mindset, I've, I've given him a mindset which, is, which will now allow him, if you like, as a reference point for his next training. Yeah. And a mindset by, by, and that's why interval, high intensity intervals work really good because they allow you to turn on the aggression to achieve the effect of, 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 of smashing a bag or grinding and panning or, or trying to knock somebody out in conditional fighting on, with equipment because both people know what's happening. It produces, it produces a mindset which you switch on and switch off every 30 seconds.